Hello there, my name's Richard Hurstwood, and what I want to do today is explain switch systems. Now, the one I'm going to use to demonstrate this is the Mic Air system. It's really nice. I've connected it to a pin spot, so let's have a look. This is a four-channel controller, and it's working with something called a universal transmitter and a low-profile switch. You might have a portable system like this, or even one that's fixed into the wall like a plug socket. Now, if you've got a portable system, the first thing you do is plug it in. Now, when you plug the system in or switch on the mains, you should find the channels will light up. You can see channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. Okay, when it's shown the numbers, everything will just return to normal as such. So what we need to do now is plug in an appliance. The easiest one to demonstrate this was with a pin spot. So there goes the pin spot into the socket. I'm plugging it into channel 1. If you've got a portable system, just plug it into the socket. So when you've got the unit switched on, it could be in any mode. As you'll see, there's a little green light next to latched. Watch this. If we touch the mode button, it changes it to momentary. Touch again, it goes to timed. Then it goes to ready. Then it goes to on. Then it goes back to latched. That is how you change the modes. Okay, what we're going to do now is plug in the switch. There's two sockets. There is a small one, which is mainly for American and mini jack switches, and a large one, which tends to be for the British switches, which are a quarter inch jack plug. Plug your switch into whichever one fits. Okay, with the switch plugged in, what you need to do is find the latched mode first of all. So, it's a momentary at the minute. If you look at the little green light, we'll move it to timed, move it to ready, to on, and then the next one will be latched. So we're ready to go in a latched mode. Okay, so let's show you how the latched mode works. With your switch plugged in, you press it once. Let go, and the appliance will stay on. Press it again, the appliance switches off. So it's once for on, once for off. This is very useful when somebody's first learning to switch, because it gives them time just to see what they've actually done. Before then, we switch it off. So, once for on, and once for off. And that's latched. Okay, so the next mode I want to show you is the momentary mode. So touch the mode button once, and it moves it on to momentary. The momentary mode, different to latched. What you do with this one, you hold the switch down. Keep it held, it stays on. Let go, it switches it off. So once again, Hold the switch down to keep the appliance switched on. Let go, it turns off. This is a little harder than a latched mode because it does mean that the student has to really concentrate and hold that switch. The last mode I want to show you is the timed mode. Now, what you need to do is touch the mode button once again. The controller will go to timed as demonstrated here. And then the amount of time the appliance will stay switched on is indicated there. This is three seconds. If you want to adjust that, then what you need to do, you need to hit the up or the down button, depending on whether you want to increase it or decrease. There you go, we're hitting the up button. And it's gone five, six, seven. And this is measured in seconds. There we go, back down again to five, four, etc. So, you can vary the time. If you want to increase the time by quite a large degree, then just put your finger on the up switch and the time will scroll up to 99. If you want to go down, keep your finger on the down switch and the time will go right back down again. Makes it a lot easier and a lot faster. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set the time for five seconds. So, in a timed mode, up, and there it is, five seconds. So here we go, we press the switch and watch the LED readout on the right. Switch is pressed and it starts to count down until it gets to zero. That's very handy. Here's a great little feature. Press the switch and keep it held down and notice it still times and counts down to zero. That's very useful if a student decides that they're going to hang on to the switch to keep the appliance on. So, whether you hold it down or not, when you press it in timed mode, it's going to time the appliance. Okay, let's look at the final modes of operation. If we press the mode button after timed, it goes to ready, which appears to just switch everything off. Um, press the mode button again after that and it will go to on. Here we go, just put our finger on the mode, 
and now it goes on and the appliance switches on. So, if you press it once more, it will go back to latched and then you can go through momentary timed whatever you want. Easy. So far, we've been using the controller with the switch plug directly into the unit. Now, it's a lot safer and actually a lot more usable if you plug the switch into one of the universal transmitters, or I call it radio controllers. So, you need to unplug the switch from the controller and then take a universal transmitter and plug it into there. So there you go, you've got your switch plugged into your universal transmitter. Have a look at the screen, you can see it says switch control point 01. Okay, so the transmitter is going to talk to channel 1. What does that mean? Well, if you haven't got numbers on your controller like this one, let me show you. The socket on the left is channel 1, that is channel 2, there is channel 3, and there is channel 4. Hmm, why does it do that? Well, it's simply because that controller needs to be able to talk to more than one socket. So, it can talk to channel 1, 2, 3, 4, or it can talk actually 5 up to heaven knows how many. So, it can get a bit confusing. So, let's get it to talk to channel 1 and let's see how it works. So, to run through quickly, channel 1 is in latched mode. The universal transmitter is talking to channel 1. If I press the switch, it should switch on the light that's plugged into it. Ha! How did we do that? Okay, so you already know about your channels. Remember I said the socket channels were 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, as you can see, the appliance, the pin spot is plugged into number 1. So, we need our universal transmitter to talk to channel number 1. OK, what you need to find on the universal transmitter is the channel button. And as you can see there, it says channel, up and down. Now watch the little LED screen at the top when we press up. You see it says 1, 2, it's gone to SCP3, 4, and basically it means it'll talk to all the channels. So, if you've got 7, 8, 9, 10 on other controllers, you're away. Ah, hang on a minute, it also does something else to this. If you have a bubble tube, it may also talk to the bubble tube and step the colours. It may also talk to coloured lighting systems as well. This is a very, very universal transmitter. There you see, colour wash. So, let's find channel 1. There it is, SCP-01. This is now going to talk to socket number 1, or channel number 1 as I've been calling it. So now, as you can see, you press the switch once to switch it on, press it again and it'll switch off. Brilliant. So there you go, that's how to use your universal transmitter with your switching system. Transmitter's on number one, your appliance is plugged into number one, you're away. You can do it with two, three, four, five, whatever you want. A couple of other things I just want to show you about this switching system. One is a lock mode to lock all the buttons. Watch this. Press lock and press mode together. See two dots have appeared? There you go. The whole thing is now absolutely locked. It means that any children or any students who go up to it and start pressing buttons and things like that, they're going to have absolutely no effect. So, try locking your controller. To unlock the controller, do exactly the same thing again. Finger on the padlock, then on the mode button, give it a couple of seconds, and there you go, the two dots have disappeared. It's unlocked, so now you have full control again. If you'd like to lock the whole controller, put one finger on the program, one finger on the padlock and one finger on mode, and there you go, it's locked the whole thing. And then of course the reverse, program, padlock, mode, it'll unlock them all. There you go, all the dots have gone. It's unlocked. So there you go, that's the guide to the MyCare switch system. The principles are the same on portable units like the 4-channel we've used, fixed units that are on 13-amp sockets and the wall, or even single-channel units. Just use all the same principles. Have fun with the switching system. My name's Richard Hurstwood, and that's it. Goodbye! And don't forget to go to our website, www.multi-sensory-room.co.uk. Lots more information and lots of courses.